Hey guys, I wanted to do a more simple set today, so it's gonna be very neutral. Um, this is my old set, and then I'm gonna start off by pushing back my cuticles with my cuticle pusher. This helps me get into my cuticle area with my e-file. take this monster I think it's actually for toenails but I find it works pretty good for removing rhinestones and I don't want to use any of my good nippers um, I just have to be careful with these because they can send rhinestones flying and then here's my e-file bit it's a medium grit I think a ceramic bit and the ceramic bits don't build up as much heat as the metal bits do. And it's also a safety bit, so I don't have to worry about nicking myself or a client. I have a layer of Jimmy Gel underneath the gel polish. So I'm just filing the gel polish off. I'm not filing down to my natural nail. Now I'm taking my hand file and I'm just shaping up the free edge a little bit and removing any lifting or remaining gel polish. Noticed I had a little bit of lifting right there and so I'm just gently going in with my bit and filing it away very very gently. And then this is my cuticle bit. It's very tiny and very gentle. It's got little flutes that just gently buff away the dead cuticle. And I need almost no pressure to do that. And it's also skin safe. I a lot of times use it to get the dead skin off my epinichium too.
And then I wanted to show how much dust I got just from one hand. And this is why a dust collector is so important and also wearing a mask. And then I'm using my Limp Free Wipe from Light Elegance and some alcohol and just cleaning off the dust. And then I use my Ugly Duckling Prep and put that all over the nail. And now I'm going to go in with the Light Elegance Tack and put that just on the new growth and cure for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to go in with my Jimmy Gel and do a fill. And I don't make too much of an apex, but just a little, little one to balance out my nails. And sometimes I hold my finger upside down if I need it to level a little bit into the apex. And that helps, helps the gel fall into the apex and cure between each nail. And that keeps the shape that I want so it doesn't fall out of shape. And Jimmy Gel isn't the most self-leveling gel. It does pretty good, but I try to do a lot of the shaping myself so I don't have a lot of finish filing to do. Now I'm going to start with the polish, and I've got the P Plus polishes from Light Elegance and Nude with Attitude and Smoothie. And this color is, it looks a lot more yellow on camera than it actually is. It's a really nice nude color, especially for people with pale skin, like me. And then I cure that for 60 seconds, and now I'm doing the second coat. And then I cure. And then this is the Light Elegance's No Wipe Top Coat. And I'm removing the inhibition layer because I find it helps the top coat go on easier. And then I didn't show it in the video, but I have really small nails and sometimes it's hard for the gel brushes to get close to the cuticle area. So I'll go in with a really tiny uh, liner brush, art brush, and get the top coat as close as I can to my cuticle. So if anybody else has that problem, that can help a lot. And then I cure. And now I'm using my hand file and just cleaning up any rough edges and especially with the glitter. Glitter's notorious for making rough edges. And I'm doing this very gently. I don't want to break the top coat seal. And now 
I'm gonna apply my Ugly Duckling cuticle oil. And I love the way this stuff smells. I don't really know what it's supposed to smell like, but it smells like cake or maybe cinnamon or coconut. I don't know. I use my lint-free wipe to buff the top of them to shine them up for pictures. And Light Elegance always says, seek the squeak. And then that's the finished look. Thanks for watching.